In this video, we will look at floor plans. Now, this is a typical example of one. You'll see that the darker lines are the windows and the lighter, thinner ones, the walls. We also have a door here and here, and this would be a sliding door. Now, when you look at the scale, you'll see that we have one unit. Now, this can be centimeters, meters, kilometers, anything. And this is one unit on the map or on the floor plan. And then the ratio 120, this can also be centimeter or anything, but it will be the same unit as the one. Take note of that. So this will be 120 times in real life or the actual distance. Right, so it's 120 times as big in the real world as on the map. Now let's look at if you are asked to go from the map, the distance on the map, that's like your centimeters or millimeters, to the actual distance, the real world distance, which would then be meters or kilometers, something bigger what would your steps be? Well, it's very simple. You're going to start with measure. So you get out your ruler and you get make an accurate measurement. The millimeters or centimeters on the map. That's your first step. Your second step would be to multiply by the scale factor. So this would be that 120 that we saw previously. Um, in this example, 120 or whatever else number you'll find there in your example. And then the last step, since your answer would still now be in millimeters or centimeters, even after multiplying, you now need to convert that small uh, measurement to the real world or actual distance. So we'll have convert to meters or kilometers or whatever. So then let's say now you have your actual distance, your meters or kilometers, and you want to draw a plan of that, a floor plan. Now you need to convert that um, back to your map distance, your smaller distance or your floor plan distance. Then it's even simpler, you only have two steps. The first step would be that you need to get your actual distance and you need to convert that to it will be centimeters or something smaller that you can use to draw on a piece of paper and then your second step would now be to divide by that scale factor that was given to you on the scale number scale or whatever. I'd like to point out that you could, if you wanted to, swap these steps. You could do number two first and then number one. It really doesn't matter um, in this instance, right? So you could do number two first and then convert back to centimeters or whatever, as long as you just do both steps. Now note that in short, when you want to go from the actual distance to the map distance or the plan, you have to divide and the other way around, when you want to go from the map to the actual distance, you multiply with that scale factor and then you convert, right? Okay, let's look at an example of how we can put this into practice. We have that same floor plan here with the scale and it says determine the actual measurements of the bedroom, right? So now we're here in the bedroom. Actual me measurements so we want the length and we want the breadth or the width um, of that room because it's a rectangle, remember? All right, so now I go and I get my ruler and I'm going to measure it accurately. I can use centimeters or millimeters, it doesn't matter. In this case, I'm going to use centimeters. I see the length is 5.4 centimeters. And that was your first step, remember, 
going from the map to the actual distance measure the millimeters or centimeters then we times by the scale factor then we convert it to meters so now this um, let's also measure the width quickly of this room I put it on there and I look at that exact measurement it's 3.5 so 3.5 centimeters okay now we go to step two step two says that we are going to multiply this guy with 120 because that is the scale factor and the answer you're going to get at the top 648 and 420 that was step two now our answer is still in centimeters take note of that you've only multiplied your answer your answer is still in centimeters we still want the actual measurements so that's why we're going to do step three where we convert it back to from centimeters we're going to go to meters you're going from a small unit to a bigger one so you divide and in this case it will be divide by 100 so we're going to say 684 centimeters divide by 100 which will give you 6,84 meters and 420 centimeters divide by 100 which will give you 4,2 or 4,20 meters you can fill that in so there's going to be 6,84 meters 4,2 meters the bedroom right the last example here is when you want to go the window is 1.64 meters wide so this is the actual distance and you want to know the smaller distance on the plan or the map so you're going from actual to map and first we need to get that converted to centimeters then divide by the scale factor right so let's get going step one is we take that actual 1.64 meters and we're taking meters to centimeters when you want to do that you are going to have to times by 100 which will give you 164 centimeters and now we can divide by our scale factor which is 164 divide by 120 and you will get 1,37 your answer is still in centimeters how do I know my answer is correct in this case you can actually go and test it you get out your ruler and you measure that bathroom window and you see wow it really is 1.37 centimeters okay so remember to share, like, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.